Bogland is one of Ireland's most unique natural habitats. The bog takes its name from the old Irish word bogach, meaning soft or spongy. Most of us are not aware of the vital role that bogs play in our environment. They act as a natural water filter, providing many of our rivers with a clean supply of fresh water. Perhaps even more importantly, intact bogs are natural carbon sinks, places where the greenhouse gas carbon dioxide is taken out of the atmosphere and stored as peat. Three different types of bog are found in Ireland. Fen, blanket, and raised bog. Raised bogs are deep and are formed by a very slow and gradual process as plants grow, die, and decompose in waterlogged conditions over thousands of years. Raised bogs usually form in a classical dome shape irrespective of the shape of the underlying land. Ireland's raised bogs are of major international conservation importance and Clara Bog in North County Offaly is one of the largest and best preserved examples of a raised bog in Ireland. Once just a part of the great raised bogs of central Ireland, Clara Bog was declared a natural reserve in 1987 covering an area of 460 hectares in County Offaly, Clara is owned by the National Parks and Wildlife Service. That is to say, by the people of Ireland. Because the natural boglands of Ireland are so wet, sometimes consisting of 98% water, they have never been farmed intensively and have therefore become places of refuge for many of Ireland's plants and animals. Some of Ireland's rarest and most fascinating species have found their home in Clara Bog, surviving in this unique and challenging environment that is low in nutrients and high in acidity. Sphagnum moss is by far the most important plant on the bog and is known as the bog builder. Fresh leaves grow from the tops of these feathery tendrils and shade the rest of the plant below. Out of the sunlight, the older leaves die off and become decaying matter, which, over thousands of years, turns into peat. Sphagnum is an incredibly absorbent plant that is capable of holding 20 times its own weight in water, giving the bog its characteristic spongy texture. While rich in sphagnum moss, the building block of the bog, Clara Bog contains many other plant and animal inhabitants. For example, there is the bog rosemary, an evergreen plant with small pink flowers which bloom in May and June. Bog asphodel is a conspicuous plant of raised and blanket bog, preferring open, wetter areas. It was once thought that cattle grazing on this plant suffered from brittle bones, and this is reflected in the plant's Latin name of ossifragum, meaning bone breaker. The edible bog cranberry, which is synonymous with Christmas, flourishes on Clara Bog. While the fruit is initially white, it turns to bright red when fully ripe.
Another important group on the bog are the lichens, organisms formed by the symbiosis of a fungus and an alga. These plants often have a grey appearance, with some species having more colourful reproductive tips, like this appropriately named matchstick lichen. They are among the world's oldest living things and have been used by archaeologists to track geological history through time. Lichens have had a wide variety of uses through the ages. Before the advent of modern dyes, they were important sources of colour for clothing. Over 600 useful substances have been extracted from lichens. Some species have been found to have antibiotic properties, and one of the more bizarre uses was as packing material for ancient Egyptian mummies. Ireland's most fascinating bog plant, and one that captures our imagination, is the sundew. This is a carnivorous insect-eating plant that is common in Clara Bog. Each red tentacle on a sundew leaf has a glandular tip that produces a droplet of dew, which combines the adhesion of superglue with the corrosive power of battery acid. It is thought that the insects mistake these shiny, glistening drops for nectar and realize their mistake all too late. Once trapped, the whole leaf gradually closes and enzymes are released to digest their prey. On average, a sundew plant will trap and consume up to five insects per month. Bogs such as Clara are a haven for our insects. Many species of dragonfly and damselfly hover and glide over the bog surface. Spiders construct their intricate webs across the vegetation. On a summer's day, many of our butterfly species can be seen. One such species is the painted lady butterfly, which travels all the way from Morocco to Ireland to spend the summer months. Over the last 200 years, Clara Bog has changed dramatically due to human activity. For example, the digging of drainage ditches in the past almost completely killed the bog by drying it out. Today, the National Parks and Wildlife Service are working on reversing this unfortunate trend and restoring places like Clara Bog to its natural glory. Here, scientists and conservationists work on installing a weir that will monitor the flow of water into Clara Bog to measure the health and wetness of the habitat. The European Union recognizes peatlands as habitats of international importance, and in recent years, there has been an increased awareness of the significance of raised bogs to science and natural heritage. Organizations and state bodies such as the National Parks and Wildlife Service of the Department of the Environment, Heritage and Local Government, remain dedicated to preserve, restore and protect such natural wonders as Clara Bog.
Conservation rangers regularly survey the area to check that there are no changes occurring in the vegetation, which could indicate that the bog is once again drying out. They also ensure that there is no hunting or livestock trespassing on the bog. Aerial surveys also regularly monitor the site to check that other damaging activities, such as peat cutting or drainage, are not taking place. The education staff lead field trips for school children, instilling a knowledge, love and respect for this precious habitat amongst our future generations. And so the richness of the natural flora and fauna continues into the future, showing the commitment of Ireland and its people to the conservation of its very unique and rich natural heritage. <laughs>